kill him. And I hope that when we die, it's at a huge open air concert. We're playing this open air concert and this bomb drops just as we're hitting the last chord. And the last thing everyone thinks is, God, this band's got great effects. <laughs> While performing on stage, my engine guitar over there, which you people have probably seen now, um, is loaded with explosives. And one night on stage, I flicked the switch for, um, there's four separate explosives, and they all went on at once. And it just blew, the back off the guitar blew a hole through my pants, and blew my little roadie over there flying. I've had a board in my stomach, and I had to have uh, uh, emergency um, surgery for a... Bang, you're on fire for a few few seconds. I've fallen off stage a couple of times too. I've, I've run across stage, tripped over something, then flown into the crowd and the crowd always seems to part, you know. <laughs> yeah. they, would, they wouldn't want to sort of stay sort of, and catch me or anything, that's for sure. I went, I went scuba diving without having any problems, so. but I suppose I could have died quite easily. And yeah. I've, I've raced my horse against trains for bloody film clips, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's pretty crazy. If you know my horse, he's nuts. Bikes, yes, they're very dangerous. Um, I've, I've got a whole lot of cuts in this hand, actually. See, my gloves falling apart. My mic stand, I've got a half mic stand that's covered in like bolts and screws and that cuts straight through everything, you know, because they're sharp and when you're holding it and you're running around on stage, it cuts into you a lot and these things cut. I've got burn marks, um, scars, you name it, I've got it from, you know, at, at the moment this costume's cutting my throat away. I lost, uh, lost the key of my flat once and uh, I was, it was like, it's okay in moderation, I drink a lot of beer but I don't think that sort of does too much harm. You know, walking around in this gear all day with my weight as well, and um, I won't live forever. I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably die of a heart attack before I'm 40. So stick to your diets, kids. Um, but, and, and this is quite recently, actually. <laughs> well, how does being in a band compare to being a male nurse? Um, being in a, you can get recognised, you get a different reception from being a nurse. Like I could never walk into the hospital dressed like this. Um, it's just a more of a, a feeling, maybe it's ego infatuation or something like that, but it's just more a feeling of power. When you're a nurse, you don't get that feeling. So what kind of things do you like about your job in the band at the moment? Being John the Beast, that's what I love the most. Well, I consider myself just about a lucky... Get up to the top. I'm an escapaholic. I live, breathe and die for this band. Anything that even comes remotely close to this band, I forget about it straight away. I don't worry about anything else unless 100% 24 hours a day, 52 weeks a year, escape. Why do you think you've turned out that way? You're so committed to escape. Because when you believe in your heart so much that you're going to make it, uh, you have to commit yourself. You can't hope and pray that you will make it. You have to make sure you do. Finality. It goes down to manners, really. I sort of like, if I see a girl swear, I sort of, you know, it just depends what it is. I mean, if I it's F this and F that and mother F and God <laughs> knows what, well, I mean, you sort of think, oh my God, where's this girl come from, you know? What, what's she doing? I can't, I can't see the difference, really, in women or men swearing like they both human beings like if they want to talk with a foul mouth like if a woman's talking with a foul mouth like the guy who she's talking to if he's got any brains in his he's head probably thinks off. yeah it's going to be put off but it's the same exactly on the other scale as well if the guy's swearing you know if he's got a mouth like a sewer well the the lady's not going to be impressed i think it's on an equal scale you know not in mixed company ever so you never swear in front of girls to have a good time to maybe meet someone i've never chatted up a girl if for some reason because of my physical appearance or something. I think any girl that even remotely chats me up or anything is off the skull. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. God, I, I feel terrible. <laughs> once, I was at a bar once and I was trying to chat up this woman. I thought I was going really well and she sort of said, oh, you know, thanks for the drink. It was really nice and sort of walked off and I thought, right on. I didn't get very far with this one, you know. But I, I get rejected a lot, yeah. And how does that make you feel? Rejected. Have you got a boyfriend? Not the moment, no, I don't. Why am I here? 